surging stock market and bond returns we've not seen in over a decade. Hi, I'm Andrew Steedman, an investment analyst here at Westpath. Thanks for tuning in to our Markets at a Glance update for November, where I'll be covering that news and more over the next couple of minutes. Markets moved higher last month thanks to growing optimism for a soft landing, the hopeful outcome where the U.S. Federal Reserve's efforts to cool inflation without causing a recession are successful. The rate of inflation continued to ease with the core personal consumption expenditures price index up 3.5% year over year and the consumer price index up 3.2% year over year. U.S. gross domestic product data added to the optimism. The Labor Department revised its second quarter GDP annual growth rate upward to 5.2% for the third quarter. All in all, the Fed decided to once again hold its overnight bank lending interest rate steady in November. Some investors have even started to shift their focus to whether the Fed may begin cutting rates next year, which would be a boon for equity markets. These positive developments helped the S&P 500 index of U.S. stocks not to 9.1% return for November, marking its largest month return since July of 2022. Meanwhile, the Bloomberg U.S. Aggregate Bond Index gained 4.5%, which was its largest one-month return since the 1980s. We take a closer look at the 10-year history of these two indexes in our chart of the month. As we can see here, November's combined stock and bond rally was the second largest such month in the past decade, behind only April of 2020, when markets bounced back from a brutal march caused by the COVID pandemic. It'll be interesting to watch whether this momentum can continue as we conclude 2023. We wrap up this month's update with a quick view at one of the biggest stories from the business world in November the drama at OpenAI and Microsoft. OpenAI, the maker of ChatGBT, a key leader in the latest artificial intelligence boom, unexpectedly fired its CEO and co-founder, Sam Altman, on Friday, November 17th, and then reinstated him just a few days later, following backlash from employees and big investors like Microsoft. OpenAI is a private company, so this news's impact on markets was muted. But those interested in the progress of AI, questions about its growth and safety, and its impact on large technology companies may want to keep an eye on this story. We have more on it in our monthly investment report, which is now live on our website. The full report also includes more market news and details on how it all impacted our fund performance for November. Check it out now.